And she also had the distinct honor of lighting the 30th Southeast Asian Games cauldron together with none other than eight World Division champion Mani Pacquiao in the opening ceremonies of the Southeast Asian Games. One experience that she told all interviewers she will cherish for the rest of her life. Now only two fighters in this division, the women's featherweight division. No tie entry in this division. So this is the first time we're watching both Nesti Patesho and U Nueni fight in the Southeast Asian Games. And our referee in charge of the action from Malaysia, Vin Amzan Maslan. And for Nesli Patesho, this is her chance for revenge. She lost the gold medal to me in 2013 in the Southeast Asian Games. She's waited six years for revenge. Now is her moment. Now is her time. Dwayne O of Myanmar over the Philippines. Very own Nesti Patesho in the blue. Nesti Patesho scoring that time. Throwing the Myanmar fighter a little off balance. There's a quick combination there for Patesha. You can see her hand speed. And it's good that she's the one dictating the tempo here in the first round. She's a stalker. She's coming close to her opponent. Oh, big looking right. Looking to land. And this is Patesha's big moment. She had her moment in the World Championships, but now in the Southeast Asian Games, she has never won a gold. Oh, look at the precision from Nesty Patesha right now. Just connecting at will. She's very, very precise. No connections from the Myanmar fighter. The punches are landing on Patesha's gloves. Patesha's got to unload. She's faster and it appears she's stronger right now and more shifty. Well, she's switch hitting. She's going orthodox, she's going mm -hmm. southpaw. A Malaysian referee. Now fighting out of the southpaw stance. And Patesho continues to stalk. But she's putting knee on the defensive, that's very clear. She's the more aggressive fighter. And Unwe Ni is backing off. And what you want to see are the connections of the combinations of Nesli Patesho. Patesho now going orthodox. And you can clearly see how cautious Nguyen O has been. She's now aware of the power and the speed of Nesti Patesho, who is taking charge here in the first round. And this is a very Ooh. different Nesti Patesho from the Patesho whom Ni beat in 2013. This is a more polished, more experienced Patesho. And I think Dwayne Yu was uh, overwhelmed and outboxed by Patesho in that first round. A good beginning for the Philippines' Nesti Patesho to open this women's featherweight match here. Great balance also from Patesho. And what you like also about Patesho is that her shots are very clean. Now whether you're all the way at the back of the auditorium, you will see her punches. Is and that that's left? important. The judges have to be, have to see the punches. The, Second second. Second. They're telling Nueni O to not forget defense there. 
Put your arm up after you punch. Round two. The 27 year old Davao del Sur, baby faced Nesty Petesho. And now going southpaw once more. Now going orthodox. Myanmar fighter just can't solve the defense oh, right again. of Petesho. And she seems to be very tentative considering the fact that Petesho has been very aggressive. That fighter from Myanmar just can't seem to get anything going here rhythm-wise. Petesho is just dictating the pace. And the way she switched hitting, she's confusing U Nueni. See that quick right by Patesho. Oh, body blow by Patesho there. That caught the attention of Duenio. But you get the feeling that Nancy Patesho is looking for the home run. She's throwing power shots. Oh. Big right once again by Patesho. Look at the swarming attack yeah. here. Patesho doesn't need a knockout. She can just pile up the points here. She has a technical know-how. You can see that she's a clearly superior fighter. But she's staying off. I think she wants to... Score a spectacular yeah. knockout here. She's out to prove a point. Right. As you mentioned, she wants revenge. <laughs> that's, that's very true. Not only that, I think she also wants the crowd to savor a knockout in this program. Six years of waiting is too long, you know. <laughs> for a chance for redemption. Exactly. Oh, big right again. Double right there from Nesti Petesho. Now going southpaw once more. Combination from the Filipina. Body blow this time. Oh, look at the combination. She's making it rain right now. She is a lot stronger. And also a lot more polished. And look at the way she's fighting again, like a southpaw. A Myanmar fighter just can't figure out the switch hitting Nesti Petesho. Becoming a one-sided affair here in our women's featherweight division. Nesti Petesho just running roughshod over Nguenio of Myanmar. And just too strong for uh, the Myanmar fighter. There's too much far power on the part of Patesho. So I don't know if Nueni O can do something more. I think that's a very important advice here. What can Papa Ipit, which means don't get yourself trapped near the ropes or near the corner. Three minutes away from claiming a gold medal is Nessie Petesho. And if Petesho wins this fight, the Philippines will clinch the overall championship in boxing in the Southeast Asian Games. And by all indications, it looks like Nesti Petesho will, barring any unforeseen events like a knockout from Myanmar's Nguyen O. Look at those connections by Petesho. That's one punch after the other in rapid fire succession. 
the precision, the speed and the power all siding with the Filipina Nesti Patesha right now. Well, she's looking very sharp and the Myanmar fighter has thrown very little in this fight. She's not letting her hands go. I think too much respect here for Nancy Patesho. That's right. Even if in 2013, the same fighter from Myanmar beat Patesho in the final. Oh, great body blow there. That was advice from her coach from that last timeout. Take the body with the left and a right on the head. Nice head movement on the part of Nesli Patesho. And the Myan fi Myanmar fighter crouching low. Time ticking away. Less than a minute to go. I don't think Wenny O oh can make any major adjustments, she adjustments here. Try and change the result of this fight. This could be a shutout. And remember, Nancy Patesho is the reigning world champion. Yes. And you can see why. Sound, sound boxing fundamentals here from the Filipina Nesti Patesho. An exuding confidence. Winded right oh, now. Oh yeah, she's exhausted. She's Her wasting time. Yeah, she's wasting time. She's going to the canvas and look at look at her face. Yeah, she knew it's it. It's the face of dejection. She knew it. And the Philippines is gonna win this fight. Another gold medal in the bag. And this will also clinch the overall boxing championship for the Philippines and the boxing competitions in the Southeast Asian Games. This will be the sixth gold medal for the Philippines. Nesti Patesho banking on all the experience from the World Championships. And of course, that six year wait to get a crack once again at 20 0. Let's give both of these ladies a round of applause. <laughs> After three rounds of exciting women's featherweight fight. We go to our judges' scorecards. And your winner, receiving a gold medal in the women's featherweight division. Yes. Winner by a unanimous decision from the blue corner. And there it is. Philippines. It's official. Nesty Patesho has won her first ever gold medal in the Southeast Asian Games. And the jinx has finally been broken. That's right. Three silver medals in the Southeast Asian Games for Nessie. And now, a first ever gold medal. And what a shutout that was. Oh boy, look at the score. 5-0, Nueni Nu absolutely had nothing to show. Philippines has now taken over and clinched the overall boxing championships in the Southeast Asian Games. And Six what I like about that more is she knew which camera to look at yeah. right after she was announced the winner. Nesti Patesho acknowledging the crowd here, her fans, her supporters, her family, and of course everybody who gave her that inspirational push to win the gold medal here in the women's featherweight category. So final result, gold medal goes to the Philippines, Nesti Patesho. This time with a gold medal in the 57 kilogram category. The reigning world champion. From the Philippines, Nasty Patasio! Now I don't know if this can top that world championship belt that he has, but if you win a gold medal in front of your very own countrymen in your home country, that has got to be a lot sweeter. That's a special feeling. Oh yes. And Mr. Ricky Vargas, with a handshake, the warm embrace <laughs> and the smile. Congratulations to Nancy Pedesho.
Phyllis, the Philippines. That's what I was waiting for. Fighting the gold medal. Yeah. Fight it, fight it. <laughs> Again, Nesty Patesha of the Philippines taking home the gold medal in the women's 57 kilogram category. One more gold medal to give away after this to wrap up our boxing event of the 30th Southeast Asian Games.